The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, but early in the morning, he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started to come to Jesus, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said to Jesus, teacher, This woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now, in the law of Moses, he commanded us to stone such a woman. So what do you say? They said this to chest Jesus, so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, Jesus bent down and wrote on the ground. And in response, they went away, one by one, beginning with the elders. So, Jesus was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. So we have two readings this morning that are rather similar. But uh, for centuries now, for well over 20 centuries, people, you know, scripture scholars and theologians and everybody has wondered what it was that Jesus was writing in the sand before the people that were accusing that woman of adultery. What was he writing down? There have been all kinds of speculations. Some say that Jesus wrote down the sixth commandment, the commandment that deals with adultery. Others say that he wrote the sexual misconducts of the elders who are accusing the woman. But whatever it was that Jesus wrote on the ground, it was mighty effective. Because remember, the accusers of that woman, they all went away. What was he writing down? Our transgressions can be packed with emotions, especially the the difficulties that we have in relationship with one another. That's what these Gospels are all about. They're about relationships. Sometimes the things that people accuse us of can really upset us, um, especially those who want to hurt us, just like the woman in the first reading and the woman in the second reading. There were people who wanted to hurt these women. Sometimes we want to throw stones, you know. Well, you know, I'm not a scripture scholar by far, but I'd like to suggest to you today that Jesus, what he was writing in the sand, I think it was just squiggly lines, you know. That's all it was, I think. I think that maybe Jesus was just kind of doodling in the sand, that he squatted down that day, and what he was doing was waiting for the emotions to die down. In other words, our Lord was practicing patience. Silent, just drawing a few lines in the sand, neither accusing nor defending, but deciding not to argue. Shouldn't we do the same in life? So as people of faith, let us rise and let us offer our intercessory prayer. Let's pray that we at Nativity Cathedral can be gifted by God to handle one another with great patience in our families, our work, our marriages, and our community. May God give us the gift of patience. For this we pray to the Lord. 
Let us pray in thanksgiving for all who help us liturgically, but especially for our electors and commentators. For their generosity of time and talent, may God bless them. For this we pray to the Lord. And indeed, let us pray for those who were caught up in the heat of great emotion and the heat of anger and argument. May they receive the calming effects of the Lord Jesus. For this we pray to the Lord. And for what else shall we pray this morning? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for the intention of our Mass. Our Mass is being celebrated this morning for the repose of the soul of Kenneth Kennedy. May he rest in peace. For this we pray to the Lord. O gracious Father, as a Lenten people who long to be in good relationship with one another, we ask you to hear us. For we pray all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 